sometimes in life you have storms. A lot of things happening. They hit you all at once. People get tired. They look for something, anything to hold on to, to make them feel like they can make it through the storm. A dog here, she doesn't like storms at all. So what does she do? She comes to me. She she uh, lays near me. She we give her some medicine sometimes if it's a bad storm that does relax her a little bit. It's all short term stuff. Just short term. So empathy versus systems. Sometimes systems are really bad about short term stuff. Sometimes it's the empathy that is really important. We've had a lot of things happening last few years. People get kind of exhausted. And the systems don't always make them feel better. Sometimes it's the empathy that helps out quite a bit. Yeah, one of the things that uh, we have to deal with is that there are times that we change things for the short term. And sometimes we change things for the long term. One of the things that we did, which I'm very was very sad to see that they discontinued, was during the recent uh, pandemic things that were going on. We gave out extra money to those people with children to help them. After things started getting better, the economy started getting better, we we stopped. We discontinued some of those things, which makes me sad because we're still in kind of a rough patch for especially people with families. And I don't have a fam. Well, I have family. I have kids. I have some wonderful kids, but they've grown up, they've got jobs. So the the people out there that are still have children that they need to support, I wish that we did give a little bit more. Systems people look at it a little bit differently, but sometimes in this this case, I don't agree with them. They look at it as more like your children. You need to provide for them. You need to work to make that allocation since you decide to have children. You shouldn't burden other people with your children. But I don't agree with that. There's a lot of pain and suffering that the families have had to endure. And I don't agree with that sentiment that we are responsible totally for ourselves. I have a nice house, but sometimes I need work on it. At my age, it's really hard for me to do things. I can't put shingles on my house. It'd be very dangerous for me to do that. I could do it. But there are people younger, with a little bit better balance, they could do it more easily and do a better job, probably, because they're experienced. 
I've got uh, changes that I have to do. The electricity. Actually, I could do that. But I'd rather hire somebody to do it more efficiently. Where do these people come from? What's the magical way they get here? Oh, yeah. They were children brought up by their parents, and eventually they got careers. We need people. We need people in our society. We need people to do things. They don't magically show up. They have to be born and raised and educated. Now, empathy is to remember those people are hurting because of extreme circumstances. They didn't know what's going to happen. They were caught off guard before they ever made decisions about having children. Systems. We need people. We need people working, providing, building, and creating in our society. You think these two would get along, but sometimes they don't. I remember one famous politician came down to Mississippi and he was telling people that had lost their homes due to extreme flooding from the Mississippi, that, oh, let me put it to you this way. He was asked what the government could do for those people. His immediate response was nothing. Government should do nothing. They're the ones that bought, get the houses. They're the ones that put them up. The flooding is their problem. They should have prepared for it. Wow. That guy was a systems guy. He was actually very brilliant. But at that moment, when people are hurting and suffering, those were not the words they wanted to hear. They're not the words you should have said to those people in pain. So systems are important. Systems are good. But empathy sometimes shows us when there's holes in our system. And I think we have a big hole right now. It is hard to raise up a child in this time. It's expensive and it's problematic and it's tough. We have high inflation right now, which is killing families. And there's no system right now in place to help them, even though the systems people should be identifying that as a problem and fixing the system. So empathy plays an important part in figuring out what is wrong with your system. The system should be empathetic it is something that should happen all right hope you guys have a good day